if I'd been an author, I might have written about it. But because I spent all my time painting or drawing, um, it was natural to me to, to draw. But I had no idea that I was doing anything out of the usual or it was just me drawing Pat again. And while I was doing it, I forgot where I was or you know, why I was there. I was quite surprised and quite astonished and quite flattered really, you know, to be asked if our wee gallery in a back street in Dumfries would be a suitable place for some amazing exhibition like this. But we like to think that we're quite cutting edge at times, you know, when we can do things that are a bit different. You know, it's very hard to find really sort of honest portrayals of this part of life out there. Even in a very highly image-based society, you get lots of images of the extraordinary death, but very few uh, representations of the ordinary, everyday dying, and um, done in such a sort of beautiful and honest way is very refreshing to my eyes. For the last 20 years I've been working with, with patients and caregivers sometimes during the most traumatic moments of their lives in a kind of research capacity. Um, initially it's kind of artists in residence working with physicians and, and patients but then latterly as a, in a research capacity through my own work in research. And what these drawings did was obviously they kind of fell into my research area. So they, but they kind of, what they did was kind of force me to come from behind my own easel and almost be like a participant. I said to my dad, I was saying, I get it now. You know, I get it more now than I ever got it. I felt very privileged to have been part of the end of someone's life. Felt a bit as if I was intruding until I looked around them all and thought this is somebody sharing in a visual way what they couldn't have written down in words. When you start to look at the drawings very carefully, they're incredible. Some of them I noticed have very, very few lines in them. But they're amazingly expressive. It's a great privilege to be here. It could have easily ended up in a cupboard or uh, under the bed or something. I think it's really important that he share that and people get to see it and understand it and contemplate what it means for them and their family. I w I'm an only child and I was with both of my parents when they were dying and I don't think I would have thought of drawing them but when my first child was born as soon as possible like seven hours after she was born I started to draw her and had a series of drawings of her which is a new life which is quite a different a different response but having thought about that because I've drawn my husband quite a lot I can imagine that if I was in that position, maybe doing the same thing, because it's such a, a close connection with that person. I did a drawing myself, which really was very profound. Um, my dad died um, two years ago, um, about six weeks after my little grandson was born, and the drawing that I did was of my dad meeting my great-grandson his great-grandson for the first time. It actually brought me closer to my dad um, and was able to give me some kind of closure and be able to say goodbye to him in a really nice way. I think there's something really powerful about different ways of communicating the experience of being with people at the end of their lives. As an academic, I'm so used to the uh, topic of conversation that I don't really think about it and then when I uh, do it's always at an academic level so it's really abstract but being able to be around people and to have experiences where people are engaging in the exact same topic but in a way that is visual or uh, different than what I'm used to it makes me realize how hungry everybody is for it because it's communicated in a language that everybody understands. The fact that Norman has done this work and it's so unflinching and the fact that the people came tonight and that they accepted it and they you know stayed with the art um, is testament to 
the fact that there are audiences for more challenging portrayals of dying rather than the sanitized, the romanticized perspective. We were lucky that I was able to do it. I mean, if I couldn't draw, I couldn't have done it. I, I was able to draw so that it was obvious that that's what I should do. I, I felt strongly that I should do it, but I, I really didn't know what I would do with them or who would want to see them. And I, I think myself that this is preferable to putting them in a suitcase and putting it under the bed. I think that people are appreciating them, and I'm glad of that.